welcome. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Almost got me in the eye there. <laughs> welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to Through the Six. We are your lovely, sexy, smart, independent, <laughs> She's fucking a new girl. wealthy, abundant, abundant, ambitious, wise, driven, resilient, host. strong. Period. Host. Host. Jacob. Mm. Us. <laughs> and um, Brielle. Brielle. <laughs> I almost forgot my name. I'm, I'm like, like, wait. <laughs> what's her name? Brielle. I, I just am. Brielle's Lulu. <laughs> no, fuck you, bitch. No. Fuck. Has it been 20 seconds or whatever? Can we cuss? Definitely. I already said fuck. It's okay. Fuck. I think we're good. Um, it's been a minute already. We've been laughing for a minute already. <laughs> Let's laugh for two more. Oh <laughs> no, because when I walked in after you said Delulu, mm-hmm. like I was like, that's not even funny. But <laughs> it was. I it guess totally it was. was. I was, was like, hilarious. they dad joked me. Um. So it really feels like I haven't seen you in a long time. It's oh, been forever. God. Oh my god. Um, we, we had a slumber party. We had a slumber party, basically. And we were together, like, basically all he day yesterday, He just went home too. to shit, shower, and change. And basically. Come back. I rested my pretty little head, ba- barely. And I'm... We did tarot back. Olympics yesterday. We did. The crucible of tarot. Yeah. That's what we've been up to. Yesterday, I came over pretty early in the day. It was, like, what, like, noon, one-ish? Yeah. I think when I came. I think it was, like, noon. Oh, and yeah, you came to my... Oh, my God, I totally... <laughs> yeah. You put in hours. Um, I did. Bye, boo. Bye, Joshua. Go, Ravens. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I came over earlier. Yeah. Because... Yeah, just because. It's because I, I was in the neighborhood. Oh, you were in the hood. I was in the we hood. We had to go... Um, Pick up our podcast mm-hmm. because of Mercury retrograde things. Mercury is really retrograding no, already. But the I shadow tell, period is real. Can I? I need to say my story. Say your story. About about Jake reprimanding oh me and my, my tags goodness. in the parking lot while he was in uniform. She will Scared not get the shit over out this, of me. Jake. She will literally not get That's over it. That's the reason why I've had a 48 hour panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> she was fucking panicking well, after we Well, didn't I tell left. you before we even met up with him? I was like, dude, I hate fucking driving to this fucking yeah. place it gives me ptsd it's yeah such bad energy over here it is it yeah. really is it's like it's literally the matrix quite literally and then she was told that she didn't have that someone stole her tags yeah <laughs> and i was like oh my god and she's like i'm gonna get pulled over oh my god officer i've been driving officer- so confidently <laughs> This for a really long gonna, time. Like, any officer that passes by is going to pull us over now in her head. Like, I've been switching lanes like, really? in front of people. I've been, <laughs> I've been street racing cops. Like, You're all, you were tipping on faux foes. <laughs> I've been blowing kisses. <laughs> tipping on faux foes. On those hoes. Faux hoes. I was like, oh my God, the fact that he told me something, like, I'm going to get pulled over. <laughs> And they're going to be like, no, bitch, we didn't pull you over for your fucking tags. We pulled you over because you're going 107 miles per hour. But she in never, a school zone. Which she never even does, by <laughs> which the Which I way. don't ever do. She doesn't even drive fast. Yesterday when you got told by Kevin that you drive fast, I was like, I've never seen her drive fast. That's crazy because I'm just, I'm a carrying precious cargo when you're in the car with me. I guess so, so I'm not speeding. You definitely don't Not speed. risking our lives. She's more like driving Miss Daisy, I swear. I hate that. I hate that you're saying that. <laughs> I hate that you're saying that I'm a slow driver. Exposed on the pod. No, I'm not a slow okay. Every time we get in the car now, she's going to fucking be stepping on nah, it. Nah, no. My six fucking speeding tickets on my record. Do you have six speeding tickets? Six. Oh my God. And that's it. And that's that's all it will be. That's insane. I hope it's all it's going to be. Oh, Yeah. I actually got my license taken away. I was on probation because of driving, because of reckless driving. I've never had a DUI. I've never gotten into an accident. Um, And yeah, I've never hurt anybody, but I am guilty of being 
a fast driver. I'm like, I'm like baby, like um, that fucking movie. Oh yeah, um, Angus. What's his name? No. Yeah, right. Yeah. Baby driver. Yeah, I'm baby driver. Oh, Basically, that that's me. I mean, like even my kids are like, oh my god, mom, you could have been like a professional driver. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm smooth. Bro, I'm I gotta smart. go. I'm like over this. <laughs> I need to go home. That's the end of this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> it says, I am a... That's no, the most psychotic you... sh- the Lulu shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to take you down to a racetrack. No. Yeah. I should be... A f- okay, well, let's go because I will... I swear I'm supposed to be a fucking race car driver. Me too. I swear to God. <laughs> Not you mean no. Galulu. Let me Off no. my Galulus. No, no, no. No, uh-uh. baby. I, I am the real deal. I'm the real deal. I've literally... Have you ever gotten oh into an accident? Yes, I have. Okay. Um, Any DUIs under your belt? No. Perfect. I've been in... How many accidents what have I been in? What were you clocked at for your speeding ticket? I've never had any any speeding tickets. Never. Ever. The only ticket I've ever had was a parking ticket, and it was bullshit, and I shouldn't have even got it, and I it was a setup. <laughs> <laughs> they set you up. They set me the fuck up. Why? Okay, so I was in Hermosa Beach. Did you want to ask You guys on a can date? always find me there at the summer in the summertime. No, are you being so delusional right now? You can always. Okay, he lives in Bakersfield, you. California, but somehow you can always find him at Hermosa Beach. It's true. <laughs> what you the, could. When's the last time you've been so there, true. girl? Last summer. <laughs> It's true. Okay, I it's said true. in the summertime you can find me there. Every day. <laughs> Every fucking it doesn't matter. He I'm puts there. in shifts at Hermosa the beach. Okay, I so do. tell us about the setup. Okay, because they set I, you up at your beach. I, you yeah, at my fucking beach. How dare they? So I had a parking. I was parked in a spot, and then I remember it was like for a limited time. So then limited time only. <clears throat> yeah. So then I don't know. I at the time I just didn't realize. Mm-hmm. Like I thought I could just add more time to it and it'd be like okay yeah because you would think you know yeah why can't you you can't apparently because i still got a fucking ticket what do you gotta do just move from side yeah, to you side have to move, you have to move to a- to a different parking spot <laughs> you do i didn't know that and it's i think it's fucking stupid like you're getting your money like for paid for the spot like fuck off let me enjoy my dad my beach yeah <clears throat> so yeah um, that's yeah. the one time i got to get and i even had pictures of when like the time and everything so i would try to dispute that shit i was like here's the screenshots <laughs> here's the proof Mm-hmm. And they were like, nah, you still gotta pay. So I had to pay like 50 bucks for that. But that was the only time. Hmm. Um, so apparently, we should both be race car drivers. Yes, okay, so I have a really good story um, for why I should be. Okay, well, let's As, hear. Okay, it's so a really good story. You. Because I'm obviously the president <laughs> of NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> so one time, <clears throat> this was probably like. That's like my. What? What Don't year are we in? But I was gonna say that's my like my favorite part of like white people culture, Caucasian culture is like race car their driving? love for race car driving. I've never been that close to a white person to know that. I mean, like I've never had. We're like, pretty close to this guy right here. I know, but to like he does go to race cars, drives does do you? <laughs> do you race no, car white people like they just have like their little secret moments where they just like go they out. Do. Well, nobody's ever. None of my white friends have ever been like, let's go to a race car. Because race. it's a private thing. Oh. It's invite No brown only. people? No. Mm-mm. None? No. My pronouns are... <laughs> I like to drive fast. <laughs> um, and the, you know what's crazy? That's a, it's a thing here. Like, obviously. Like, we have, like... We have Kern Raceway. Yeah. Which and the I will other be at one, on April 29th. One? Come check me out. Oh, my God. Yeah. And the other one? There's another one? Yeah. 
Whatever. Um, Famosa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about none of that. But... I don't, I'm not too big on Famosa. I like Kern Raceway better. Hmm. I don't like the setup of it. It just sounds there. too loud. It, it's loud and smoky. But tell me your story and why you think you should be a race car oh, yeah. driver. So it was probably like four years ago. And I you was, were how old? Four years ago. I was like 23. Too 20, young to be a race car driver. 22, 23. <laughs> I was like 22, 23 at the time. Uh -huh. And I was with my friends, like three of my friends. And we were driving and we had seen my friend's my friend's brother's ex-boyfriend, right? Uh, you were on a mission. No, we had seen him at a 7-Eleven. We were driving by 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. And my friend goes, hey, that's my brother's, like, boyfriend. Okay. Or whatever. But they had just, like, had gotten into, like, a fight, mm -hmm. basically. Not to be spilling tea or anything. But they had just gotten into a fight. And basically the uh, boyfriend kicked my friend's car he has a bmw oh, no. and he kicked his fucking car and so my friend had a dent in his car and we were like what happened to your car and he was like you know like he kicked it when they were in the middle of a fight i was like what the fuck so we go and we like pull up next to this guy and his truck and we try to see just to make sure it's him mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> he's leaving and he takes off and we follow him and we're <laughs> we're driving and driving next to each other and he turns off into a street well, my friend, she decides to get a bottle and just toss it at his car. No, she didn't. <laughs> right? Like an like a glass bottle? I don't know what it, if it was a glass bottle or if it was just like a a plastic bottle. Okay, for legal purposes, this didn't happen. <laughs> this did not happen. This is a fairy tale. <laughs> so then this guy, we saw him driving. We take off. He turns down the street, but I see him turn mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, oh my God, you guys, he's following us now. Okay. So I'm like, watch. I was like, no, nah, I'm not tripping. Like, I'm going to lose him. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, I fucking turn into a neighborhood and there's like dips and shit and my friends are like like jake watch out watch out and i'm like i got this i fucking hit that shit so clean bro like i didn't scrape my car nothing i hit it like just perfect just to like yeah. go over it and i went <laughs> and i was like driving through these streets uh -huh. and he was like following us and then i uh, i lose him a little bit and i pull into this perfect spot that's behind like a van in between yeah. like a car and a van and then i fucking just perfectly swoop in on it yeah and I turn off my lights <laughs> and we're just like waiting. And then we see, like slowly we see a truck like slowly coming up again, like from the next street. Mm -hmm. And then he slowly comes and he flips a bitch and he goes the other way. Because he thought, he's like, I don't know where they went. And yeah. Like, clean. And it was just the craziest story. Like craziest time. I love like, that. Such an adrenaline rush. It's I the was best. like, I was really on my baby driver shit that yeah. day. Like, or my, like, have you ever seen Drive with Ryan Gosling? Drive. No. Oh my god, you have to watch it. But it sounds good. It's really good. Because it has Ryan Gosling in it. Yes, he's so sexy in it. Um, and he's like a good driver like that too. It's like same vibe. Yeah. Baby driver. I fucking love that. Yeah. Oh Driving is fun. Driving is fun. Driving fast is fun, but don't I, do it unless you're on a race. I was going to say, what I really want to do is go to like the... Like Speedway, like I on wanted, the way to Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. I've wanted and to do that cars. forever. That and go to the um, <clears throat> fucking Autobahn in Germany and do What's that. What's that? It's a fucking like, it's a road or it's a highway, freeway, whatever, where you could go as fast as you want. There's no speed limit on it. What? Yeah. That's crazy. I know. That'd be fun. Yeah. But I definitely want to drive a fast car. <sighs> Or I'm just like hearing that song by Rihanna in my head. What song? Drive. Oh, Shut Up and Drive? Yeah, Shut Up and Drive. I had a Lana drive, song playing in my head. Drive. It's funny. Cause she's, you had Ride? No, oh. um, Burning Desire. Oh. Because she says, I drive fast, radio blast. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I love that. Oh, what were we going to talk about? I didn't, I know, but like we went a complete <laughs> different way than we like intended to. Um, why should say. you do, why should you be a race car driver? Um, because of my credentials, no DUI, Six just like tickets. you, uh, never hurt anybody, never have been in an accident. Okay. you never been in a car accident with They anybody? actually, my biggest speeding ticket, I was clocked at 106, 107, but I was really going 112. They had to have backup, like, pull me over. Like, they thought, like, I, I was driving a stolen vehicle. Oh, my God. And, Where were you going? I was literally just going to work. 
<laughs> and I was not even running late. I was like an hour and a half early. What? And I got fucking, and they're like, do you know how fast you're going? I was like, no. And they're like, well, what were you thinking? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was just like, kind of like praying. Like I was like having my little talk with God in my head. <laughs> They're like, and I fucking get out of the car because they had me get out of the car, and I'm wearing the little Mexicali restaurant uniform, which is like the Encanto fucking oh little off the shoulder and colorful skirt. And wow. that's the one that had me fucking on probation and get an SR22. Surprised you didn't end up in a psych ward. Reckless. I'm sure, you look crazy. I looked fucking crazy. I did, but nobody was hurt. Um, yeah. They asked whose vehicle it was. I'm like, it's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why would it not be? I don't know. Oh, gosh. It was back in the day when I had the black murdered out Cadillac CTS Sports. Mm. And that bitch, that was like Black Betty. She went fast as fuck. I love that. You know? That was my wild driver era. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I've always been a pretty safe driver. But that's why we should be race car drivers. We should. Professional. Definitely. Yeah. Professional race car drivers. I want to be on like my Charlie's Angels shit. On our shit. Starsky and Hutch shit. <laughs> Starsky and Hutch. I was saying Charlie's Angels, but... Yeah, either or. <laughs> right? On our um, Hot Rod shit. I've never seen Hot Rod. It's funny. It's funny as fuck. Okay, so... We did a fuck ton of tarot readings last night, you guys. Mm. A fuck ton of yeah. tarot goddamn it readings. It started yesterday when I came over during the day. Ooh, my lord. My yeah. lanta. Brielle was just on a good one and earlier. She was like asking different questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, you guys, <clears throat> my, oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Oh, a little feather for my blanket. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, um, my best friend got me this shirt as a Christmas present, and I couldn't find it for the longest time, and on the back it says, what's wrong with me, mother? Yeah. And guess who got me this shirt? He did. I did. And I could not find it till today. I know, she had me looking everywhere for it. Literally, I had him looking at the view for it. <laughs> yeah. I and I was like, there's no way it. you left it there. I just I knew I you didn't leave it there. I couldn't find it, but yeah. And then it randomly just popped up, she said today. It did. Loves it. Yeah, it was very Brielle, so I had to get it for her. It was. This is like, I have an Exorcist shirt collection, you guys. I have about seven or eight Exorcist shirts, but this is like my favorite one. Yeah. Because this is like the most unique one. Yeah, you don't really see that one. No, you don't ever see this. Yeah. You never see this. No. This is art. It is. <laughs> I'm like, this is true just, artistry. Yeah. Because on the back, like, they used, like, a really pretty lilac, like, violet mm -hmm. color. I know, I love it. So that's why I'm like, this is unique as fuck. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I would get the most unique shirt. He does get the most unique shirts, and he's wearing a Clueless, Clueless shirt, shirt today, today. Which is, he's always wearing unique graphic tees. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I remember... For a while, I wasn't. I would just wear basic colored, like, you know, just basic shirts, you know? I thought that was... I remember you wearing, like, a lot of, like, uh, polos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, he's on his ACDC, like, preppy alternative boy shit. I love that. <laughs> no, that was just for work. Oh. <laughs> wasn't because I, I was really like, wanted he's to. he's styling. Oh, thanks. <laughs> he's styling, like a private school boy. Yeah, I definitely do give, like, Garces vibes when I'm, like, wearing a polo. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Recently, in the most recent years, I've gotten more into graphic tees because it's like, I why the them. fuck not? Why not express yourself through express a t-shirt? Express yourself. Like, with things you like, your interests. What's your favorite brand of graphic tees or your favorite, like, um, pop culture art pieces to wear on graphic tees? My favorite brand? Mm. I don't know. I don't really have, like, a favorite brand. Or it doesn't brand. have to be a favorite brand. It could be, like... Like how I have a fuck ton of Exorcist shirts. Right. Like, what's your favorite? I don't think I like, have movie the most um, collection I have. I think I have, like, three Britney Spears shirts. Oh, sick. So, Britney, Britney shirts or... Mm. I like your Powerpuff Girl shirt. I know. I love that one. 
Yeah. Target is just Target be on their shit. Target, no, Target be on their good shit. Um Yeah. Yeah, during Halloween time they have a lot of cool fucking Ouija stuff. <clears throat> they do. They really it's do. It's crazy. And I swoop in on that shit. Yeah, I'm every time I go to Target, I'm going through the graphic tees like what's new, what's popping. Yeah. What's happening? Brand new whip just popped in. <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Um yeah. I think we just keep getting like off track, but we're like on track. We are. We're fine. It's fine. We're right on. Yeah, so we did a bunch track. of tarot readings yesterday. A bunch. A bunch. Yeah. Um she was getting real. Yeah, we had our friend Joe here. Mm-hmm. We came to some deep realizations. Um and then before before we started rolling these tis apes, we were watching <laughs> um, The Haunted Mansions, just starting that movie, and we watched Encanto. Yeah, I watched Encanto for the first time because Brielle made me. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at it. I did start dozing off a couple times, but it was just because I was so comfy. Yeah. <laughs> In this corner of the couch over I here. I gave him a blanket. I turned the heater on. Right. She set me up. I was like... <clears throat> Watch it. I noticed I kept falling asleep every time they would sing. Like, because their songs are so was, crisp and clean. Yeah, like those songs are so smooth. I love it. I love that. Um, the Bruno song, obviously. We don't. Talk I just like that part Bruno. where what's her name, the cousin, no, no, is like, no, no. she's fucking spitting. Oh, <laughs> sound of falling sand. Yeah, 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 that part, yeah, yeah. That part. I love that part. Yeah. It was a good movie and it has a really good message. Yeah. You definitely reflect on your own um family and shit. Mm-hmm. And I, feel, I know that's the purpose. It's kinda crazy though. Yeah. And I definitely feel like the whole like movie was centered over like why it's so necessary to have tower moments like in life. Right. Like why things have to come crumbling when they're built on fall like false foundation, faulty foundation as well. Like why you have to destroy that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that whole movie is a tarot, uh, tower moment. No, definitely. Ed Bruno's the hermit because he's like the little guy. He really, yeah, light. it's yeah. fucking crazy. She's the magician. She has all these tools, but she thinks she has no gifts, but they're right there in front Literally. of her. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Literally. That movie is mwah, amazing. It's really good. It was. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, and then like, yeah, just Latino culture is just yeah, really how, expressed heavily. How in Grandmas Latino, and their favorites. And, and their favorites and they find or think it's necessary to sweep shit and the truth of matters under the rug and mm-hmm. enable a lot of toxicity within the Mexican family structure and culture. Yeah. I'm sure that runs deep within like a lot of ethnicities, cultures. But right. Because we are Latino, Latina. I definitely see that. No, for sure. I couldn't help but think and reflect and I, back on my own family. Yeah, it's like that movie, like... That's why I was getting so angry. I know. I would look over and I'd be like, mm, I knew Abuela was getting to you. I knew she was getting Everybody to you. Everybody was getting to me in that fucking movie, except for um, Maribel. Maribel and Bruno. And Bruno, yeah. Because they're just the psychics. First of all, how are you going to so- ask... Because it's Bruno like, because to use his psychic abilities and show you a vision, you. and then you're going to turn your back on him. him. And then gaslight him because he saw a truth that you didn't want to see. You yeah. want to turn a blind eye it's to the truth. Crazy. And that's so true. Like, when you're psychic and you're the black sheep of the family, like, it will look like to others who are asleep or who don't have any knowledge when it comes to that, it will look like you have no gifts. Right. Because you can't see the unseen if you're yes. not ready to see it. Oh, I'm high. <laughs> 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 no but for real that's like literally crazy that disney would make a movie that's just like i don't know oh and when i say i'm high for the haters that i have you know who you are um it's fucking marijuana it's california so fuck off you know who you are death glare yeah anyways <sighs> But yeah. Anyways. And then they have my girl Maribel in a little ass room. Oh yeah, they have Maribel in the fucking not even a goddamn walk-in the, closet. I, I know, my fucking girl. Bitch. I know. And she had to watch the little boy get his gift. Yeah, like I said, she was stuck with the little undergrads, like. Yeah. Just cause they, and she had a gift. I know she had a gift the whole time. Gosh. Whatever. 
whatever. I'm glad they worked it out. <laughs> I'm glad they worked it out, but it's not true for... I mean, that's a Disney movie. In most family structures, a black sheep is not lucky like Bruno and Maribel. You have to make break off. Mm -hmm. Make a name for yourself. And break away. Kelly Clarkson? Yep. That's a song I just channeled. <laughs> that reminds me of Princess Diaries too. Or, I want to get away. I want to fly, fly away. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. That, that fucking song, that was like in the tarot message from last night where I was like, you got to spread your wings. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. I want to get away. Yeah, also, like, so I don't know if you've ever mentioned on here, but Brielle has a tarot playlist, and she will play it when we're you, you doing tarot. You let people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just crazy. Like, and no, and it just, like, really shows how Yeah, I mean, we could tell them. Aligned. It's not like they're not going to know. Yeah, it just shows how aligned um, I test people when... You are. Yeah, when I let people into my life, like, I have a tarot deck playlist, um, it first started off where each song was, um, represented one of the cards from a tarot deck, but now it's like three or four songs, um, per for, card. yeah, per card. So it's a pretty big ass fucking tarot deck playlist and I'll ask Siri to shuffle it and I'll play it when I'm like here, we're doing like readings or even if like I'm meeting somebody new, I want to hear what songs, what energies are they bringing into my life? Mm-hmm. And tell me how that shit was spot the it was fuck on. on every fucking spot the fuck God, on. Time. Like even with the lyric would answer yes. one of our questions. Like it was talking. Yes, yeah. the lyrics would answer our fucking questions. It was insane. It yeah. just goes to show, like we said. Mm -hmm. And it's just really great. I don't know. It's just really good feeling, and we learned a lot. Yeah, under the we light did. of the moon. <laughs> and if we're being real, like. We were having, the day started out kind of crummy for oh, the yeah, both of us. Oh, yeah, we got to be real with them. I had a really bad mental health weekend. Um, I had, like, panic attack that lasted, like, two fucking days. Um, so yesterday, I was still kind of, like, recalibrating from all of that and stress and stuff. So when he came over, he was having a crappy day. We were both kind of, like like slumming it like we were just not we were really conflicted internally we were not on our confident a game no we weren't mm -mm. we were even when we were like brielle had to say like we okay let's go pick, get some coffee we were on our pick me girl we were like vibration we weren't <laughs> and we were in the car and we were just like silent like we weren't even like yeah i was like this is supposed to be like a joyous thing we're going to go pick up our <laughs> podcast from jake like well jake had a great well, day well must be nice well, we, I ended up having a great day. Anyways, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Aries. I know. That's like, I'm that's amazing, Aries. You had an amazing day and your amazing season. Right. With your cool drinks and your cool friends. Um, yeah. Anyways, so. <laughs> yeah, so we were in cr crappy little moods. And we then were we, in shitty moods. Yeah. My, my nervous system was shot. Yeah. And I was not decompressing well. Me either. Um, so I was like, let's go pick up this podcast. And then we picked it up and you guys know what happened. I got cited for my tags by <laughs> Officer Jake. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I proceeded to have a little bit more anxiety. But then it like evened out. It chilled out. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. We're going to go get coffee. Yeah. So we're going to go get coffee. Like, because coffee always makes you feel like you're just on your shit. Yeah, you like, do you feel like you have a little more together. Like, you could not get anything done on a fucking to-do list, and you go get that iced coffee, and you're like, you're like, I'm doing Everything's shit. Everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's I'm peachy fucking doing king. shit. We even said as soon as I got the coffee, I'm like, our credit scores are perfect. We look better. We smell better. We are better. Mm -hmm. So we got our coffee, and we came back here. And then that's when the like the whole day of tarot began. Yeah. Began. Yeah. Begun. Was, yeah, we started a day of tarot. Yeah. And Yesterday then, was crazy. Yeah. Something really cool happened that we can't talk about yet. Yesterday. A lot of cool things happened. A lot of realizations. Yeah. Just a lot of signs for us to just keep on pushing forward and keep doing what we're doing. Keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. So it was really nice because, and then that TikTok you sent me 
to like this morning, I believe you sent it to me. And it was about like, it's like the universe is going to test you. Like you're going to have a, like that one crappy day. Oh, because I wanted to tell you, because that's what I was saying yesterday in the car ride. I was like, bro, before your yeah, prayers you did, yeah. to God or your manifestations or the things that you're working hard for come to you, the universe will make it look in this physical 3D world, which is ruled by the ego. It'll make it look like you are like fucking just football fields away from those goals. Right. It will make it look like, oh shit, like I just took a million steps backwards. Like nothing is going right because ultimately the universe is testing you because you have to have faith and hope when everything looks like it's crazy around you, you have to still remain in that gratitude vibration. Mm -hmm. And that's, so that's why I sent you that because I'm like, I was just telling him that because you're like, well, let's hope so. <laughs> like I said, because it was like... uh yeah, I was like, no, it's fine because right before like really good shit happens, like really it feels really crappy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then that that TikTok really just is that exactly what she said verbatim, and mm -hmm. so I was like, wow, amazing. Yeah. And by the end of the day, I had just I wasn't stressed out anymore, anyways, just because like the, all the readings we did, all the messages that came through, it just really like slapped me back, like bitch, mm -hmm. like you got this, it's fine, like. Yeah. Don't forget who you are. You're powerful. Like, everything you want will come to you. Mm hmm So I was like, fuck yeah. Why am I even tripping? Like, I have seen it time time and time again. Like, what I can do. What I'm possible. Like. What you are capable of. What I'm of. capable of. Because it all comes yeah. back to confidence. Mm hmm Feeling empowered. Self-love. And, like, truly... Being your number one fan. You literally. Being your own fucking fan, being your own confidant, being your own best friend, being your number one advocate. Mm -hmm. Believing in yourself. Yep. Yeah. So now I'm going to go be a baddie in Coachella. <laughs> exactly. You're going to go be a baddie in Coachella. Yeah. And I'm going to stop worrying and overthinking shit to the point of driving myself mad. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Because I'd be like that. I'd be like the fucking rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> all crazy. Constantly looking at the time. Yeah, all fucking crazy. No, the fucking, oh. the, um, the yeah. Mad Hatter, um, oh. the rabbit at the fucking tea party. Oh. Not the white rabbit. Not the white rabbit? No. Hmm. The other rabbit. I don't remember the other one. I haven't seen that movie in so long. It's so good. I've never seen the new one either. It's a trip. Yeah, well, went down the acid when they wrote that. The person who wrote it. I don't know, maybe they were. Hmm. It's a fact. Yeah. Speaking of, I had very lucid dreams after last night's tarot reading, which was more tarot readings within my dream. Yeah, which is so crazy. Which I in my dream I still picked. Uh, I still picked group two, and it, yeah, it was wild. So. That being said, let's get into tarot readings. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to pick the deck. Okay, there's this deck, you guys, that I have that I'm like, oh, like cards never really want to jump out. But like yesterday, that's the deck that was calling to Joe. Yeah. She's about to say. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, it's... No, we're good. Oh. No, we're good, girl. Um, well, one of my messages in my dream, which is a collective message that um, I don't even have to pull cards for, is last week when we did, like, the love reading. Okay, so in my dream, there's going to be a lot of suitors out there for you guys, but a lot, pretty much all of them that are surrounding you right now don't actually want you for you. They only want you because your light is shining so bright. But they're not, they want you for your body, not your mind, not your soul. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really good message. Yeah. Like they are all waste of time. There's nobody out there that's not. All right. That doesn't count. <laughs> they're all waste of time. <laughs> yeah. All of them. No, literally all of them. Mm, if I can. Not me using the cards, like, thinking that this deck's going to like me today. 
They're like, oh, you again. I know, this just went... Yeah, guys. So we got the world. And I don't know, for this one, I don't feel like this one is like a read of the reversal. I was going to say. You were just going to say yes, that? Yes, I was yeah, going to say I'm that. Yeah, because I was going to say, I was going to say like, I don't feel like it is. Does Joe do reversals? No, he doesn't. No. But I, for this specific deck, like I read reversals on all these motherfuckers, but for this one, like, I just don't feel it. I was going to say, because when I seen you put it upside down, I was like, it doesn't feel so, right. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And I'm not just saying that because of, like, blind optimism. Like, no, I'm, it's just what it, like, what it yeah. was. Yeah. Wait, what are we asking then? Um, just asking, like, what basically, oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that today, but what the collective needs to hear, I guess. <laughs> she literally was like, I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> I wasn't going to ask it, but I feel like we're right on track, like. Yeah, these are all good cards coming out. Yeah. But don't choke on your aspirations. That's what I heard. That's what I heard one of my spirit guides say. One of my spirit guides happens to be Darth Vader, apparently. Um, no, it just means like don't don't get so confident. Just because things are amazing, um, don't get cocky. Mm -hmm. Don't get a big head. Remember where the fuck you came from. Right. Remember your roots. Oh, yep. There you go. Remember where you came from. Mm-hmm. Remember where you came from. Okay, so... Yeah, so the, do we want to get um, oracle cards? Yeah? Yeah, sure. Which one do you uh, want? I can't reach it. Jake. Will you, um. Make my parents, Jake. Do you want, <laughs> do you want to hand me the, do you want to do the ocean spirit or the liminal? The what? The, the liminal spirit deck. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that one. Liminal. That one. I like that one. Bring it, bring it back. This one's very witchy. Oh, the book right... Oh, shit. You got the cards for there. It was right there from last night. Oh, yeah. Grab them. Wait, you want these cards? No, no, no. I'm saying like half of the deck is right there. Oh. For this box. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's the same one? Yeah. Is this the book too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, let's unpack it. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So we got the world, Major Arcana. We got the sun. So the world has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Major Arcana, Big Daddy, Dick Energy. Then we got the sun, another Major Arcana ruled by Leo and ruling planet, the sun. Then we got the nine of pentacles, um, Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Then we got King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Then we got the Emperor, Aries. And then we got King of Swords and Justice. And we got the Six of... Okay, so, sorry. King of Swords is Air, Element, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Justice, obviously, it's Air, Major Arcana. And it is Libra, the Libra Scales. Um, then we got two of pentacles as the back of the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck is the six of wands. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. So this is a pretty straightforward short fucking reading. Yeah. Toad. Gateway. All right. I love the toad energy. Mr. Toad's wild ride. All right. Um, I learned that for the first time last time I was there and like... Yeah, like ever. I didn't know you went to hell. Yeah, it's to it 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 literally when I went on it, it just it <laughs> gave me the tarot card, the devil. Like it really did. No, yeah. Because he is so wrapped up in the physical, where oh. he loses sight of mm -hmm. like what it really means to like you know be alive. Yeah. Like he gets he turns into a fucking basically like a, a not an Ebenezer Scrooge because he's not mean, but he turns just into complete like greed mm -hmm. and just like um instant gratification and that'll lead you nowhere good took him to hell um okay so basically 
we are coming in to a lot of abundance, the group that feels aligned with this. We're coming into a lot of abundance. We've made very correct choices for ourselves. There's no need to overthink it or think, oh, should I have done the other way? Should I have gone the other path? No, you already picked the path you're going down. Mm -hmm. There is no going back. There is no old path like you think there is, but you're just wasting time thinking like, oh, what if? There is not that path anymore. So stop keep, looking back. Stop looking back because there's nothing there. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there. It doesn't even exist anymore. Um, and it so even I, to me. that's exactly what I thought when I said that in mm-hmm. my head. Um, so basically, just your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to get these fucking all these gifts, all this material gift, all these spiritual gifts. And basically be a good example for others around you. And the universe is obviously everything is a test. So what are you going to do with this new leadership position? Because people are watching you. So it's basically how well are you going to handle this good karma? Mm -hmm. And that will determine the next phase of your life. You do good, good's going to keep happening to you. You do bad, you get a big ego, you get a big head, you get cocky, you get stupid, you try start treating others who are not at your level poorly. And when I say at your level, I mean your level of awareness because nobody is better than anybody. The universe will deal with you. So make sure that with all this abundance you've come into recently, whether that be in your career, in projects, in positions, in even your mental health, and relationships and love make sure that you're remaining grateful and you are humble and properly handling it Mm -hmm. um what's been given to you you are still walking into the unknown so there is still that energy is like oh i am a little scared but you're just walking to so much goodness honestly i'm not bullshitting you and remember this message is for those that it like it aligns with like Mm -hmm. if this feels right for you and where you're at right now then this message is for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. But I hope this is for everybody because this is amazing. Um, just it's still that clear message where don't just don't get stuck in your head. Be really present right now because this is a really good fucking time to be alive. Be present. You're gonna ruin the moment if you stay stuck in your head and you and you worry yourself to death. Um, yeah, that's what I got from this. Yeah. And walking into the unknown is always scary, but like that's the only way you learn how to grow in this lifetime. Mhm. Mhm. That's how you keep the blessings coming. Yeah. And I truly do feel like whoever this is, like this this is for people that are coming into, I don't know, like yeah, it could be for a work project or or relationship, but I really just feel like this is like a really like leadership geared tarot reading. Like it's for those that are like people are going to be looking up to you mm. type of type of energy. Like these are for our leaders, not bosses, not managers, but leaders. Yeah. For our role models, mm-hmm. the people in this community and in your families who others Look up to. Lead by example. Walk with integrity. People are watching you. Children are watching you. People are watching how you move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's what I'm getting from this. That's so good. Yeah. Congrats, you guys. And I feel like if you fumble this bag, like, it's, you're gonna... Don't fumble if, it. Yeah, if you fumble this bag, it'll be because of your own ego and your own arrogance. So don't get arrogant. Like I said again, do not get cocky because if you fumble this bag, uh, the universe is gonna make it a spotlight on you. People are gonna witness your downfall. Yeah. Because they've witnessed you rise up to power and to becoming this leader for your community, for your family, and this backbone type of archetype that you are becoming and that you are now. Yeah. They'll see it all crumble too. They will see it crumble up and they will... And that's what some of them really want. And that's what this test is. Yeah. It really is. 
Yeah, because some people really do want that for you. People are going to, like, want the worst. And people are going to hate on you when like, you they see you coming up. Like, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Can you practice what you preach? Can you really bring to the table what you have promised yourself and others? That's kind of what this is giving me. And if you're listening to this, I think you can. You definitely can. No, you definitely can. Mm hmm No, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's literally just, you know, just those basic human emotions like impatience, um, mm -hmm. slight self-loathing, getting a little bit negative. But ultimately, you are going to. You're going to succeed. You're going to rise up. And it may not happen as fast as you want it to, but it's like, just enjoy where you're at right now. That's a really big key is appreciating it's all, what it's you got. it's all coming to you. Mm-hmm. And it's all coming to you. Be grateful for the abundance you have right now. And everybody that is in your life, like a hawk. Everyone that's... Sorry, there's a hawk on the TV screen, you guys. Um, and that's also a spirit animal that is prominent for this season are hawks. Um, I feel like still monkeys, but I feel like hawks, ravens, crows are some of the signs you might see. Um, if this message aligns for you, the number 333, the number 9, um, 606, and... Five, eight, zero. Yeah. Those numbers. And yeah. So I feel like we're doing all right. And like I was going to say, everybody that's in your life right now as of today, because I feel like you've cut like a lot of fucking people off. The people that are in your life today, appreciate them. Those are the real ones. Those are the ones that are meant to walk forward with you into the fucking shining light, into mm -hmm. glory, <clears throat> into your rise. Your next phase. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, congratulations, guys. We are we, oh so proud of you. We did it. We did it. And we are proud of ourselves, too. We are proud of ourselves because <laughs> it's not easy stepping into the unknown. It's not easy going before mm -mm. people and really just letting your voice and yourself be seen and heard. That's not easy. No, definitely not. It takes a lot of in courage. Order to, yeah, in order to <laughs> succeed, you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable yes. you have to be okay with putting yourself in situations where you're like you feel uneasy because that's the only indicator that you know that growth is happening because if you feel comfy all the time nothing new is going on mm -mm. nothing new is going on that's when you like stuck in your comfort zone nothing mm -hmm. happens you just stay there get out of your comfort zone yeah mm-hmm Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Thank you. <laughs> huh. That's good. This was a good reading. That was really good. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. Well. Okay, so we're going to, for a short second, we're going to tell them why you were calling me Delulu. Oh, you want to talk about it? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think you do either. I think what. <laughs> She gets into it. All confident. I think that Kevin looks like. Shut the fuck up. That Kevin looks like Zayn. <laughs> from One Direction. He's not from One Direction anymore. I mean, that's where he. He's originally from there. So okay, whatever. Zayn. Zayn Mel. And I'm Selena Gomez. And anyways, anyways, no, I think that Kevin looks like Zayn. And I sh made a. <laughs> Tell you go. I hate this. Actually, I wish I didn't say this. I wasn't gonna bring um, it up. But. I hate you. I so I made a, uh, you know, a TikTok fan cam of comparing the two. Comparing Zane, a video of Zane and a video of Kev, and I showed it to Joe and Jacob. Yeah, she had already shown me this before, but <laughs> when she showed me it, it was a little newer in the friendship. I was like. Okay, girly, like, <laughs> yeah. you go, girly pop, like, okay, 
So when she brought it up, I was like, oh, fuck, here we go again. I gotta You're like, oh, sweat, this. I'm embarrassed. I got to relive this tonight. We're closer, so I'm going to keep it real like I always do. I said, don't you dare bring out that fucking video, bro. Don't I did. Dare. And so basically they disagreed completely, completely. Said he does not look like Zane at all. Yeah, he said she was <laughs> delusional. And that's where the name... Delulu. Who said it Joe said Delulu. (laughs) He said Delulu. So then I said... I said, Brielle Delulu Weston. (laughs) It's her new name. (laughs) And that was just so funny. I was like, oh my God, I had such a good laugh. Yeah, and then too. And then later when we walked out, we me seen too, their cat, Stinky Trash Weston. So I said, hey, look, it's Stinky Trash Weston and Brielle Delulu Weston. <laughs> <laughs> My Just poor cat. a couple good laughs. That was a know? great laugh. Um, yeah. So, you know. Check on your mental health once in a while, kids. <laughs> Because you could be delusional. Because you too could be delusional. And Delulu. sometimes it's okay. Honestly, if you want to think your husband looks like Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds, it. like fuck shit. it, oh, make a fan shit. cam. Make a fan cam and show all your friends and see what they have to say. <laughs> make a couple TikToks while you're at it. <laughs> Write in a letter. <laughs> write in a letter. Tell the Senate. Tell everybody. Tell the president. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for tuning in to this thanks episode. For tuning in, guys. Uh, we're ending on a light note tonight. We really are, I, and I really feel like that's like the energy of Aries season: light, happy, fiery, passionate. Have fun with it. Enjoy. Enjoy your gifts. Enjoy them. Um, Enjoy it. Continue to be a baddie. Yeah, because you, you on the rise. You are a star. You sure are. We love you. We love you lots. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Not the- <laughs>